Hey there. Oh. Hey, Jody. Let's just wait a couple minutes and see who else, if someone else pops on. The delay, too, just so you know, Jody is awful because I just got your hi, Kathy, and it takes a few minutes for it to get um, from you to me. I was going to see if I could go on my iPad and um, check it out there, too, but maybe I can't get on my iPad and be on. Oh, no, there we go. So while we're waiting for people to get on, I'm going to just start talking, okay? Um, <clears throat> this is what you need to watch the mail. This is what the new catalog looks like, and yours should be coming, I'm, my guess is, any day now. Hopefully you'll get it before June 2nd. But this catalog, you can't order it from until next month. So this is what it looks like. Sorry, yours isn't bound. I went and had mine bound again. But is that better? Take some of the glare off of there. But um, anyway, so keep an eye out. It should be coming in the mail. The next thing I want to talk about is the color coach. Because um, there's new in colors coming. And I don't even have a, I can't show them to you or anything. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so we'll have to either update our color coaches or... Um, I can make some. If I make some, I think I'm going to make a few of them, but I'm going to sell them. And hopefully I can get a new cover for the color coach too. Okay? But that's, if you want to make your own, you let me know and I'll send you these, these papers like this. Okay? Well, and to go over it together, I'm going to do a catalog launch party and the beginning of June, I'm still not sure what day, and so all of us can go over it together. And it'll probably be a Zoom party or a Facebook Messenger Room party. So we'll do that the beginning of June and go over the catalog after I make sure everybody has theirs. If you could let me know when you get one. So did you make the big book, Jody? Okay, because if you made the book, for some reason, I put my book somewhere, and it, I keep looking the same three places that I think it should be, and I cannot find mine anywhere. But you'll have to give me the measurements of um, what the size is on the book. There you go. Okay, so, no, and I don't see that Shonda's, oh, now she is. Okay, so you'll have to let me, sorry, I'm, I'm so reading comments and I lose track of what I'm looking at, but if you'll let me know what size it is, unless I find my book. I've looked everywhere. Well, not really everywhere, because if I looked everywhere, I would have found it, right? But it's somewhere here in my stamp studio, and I have no idea where. But anyway, so that's what, so we'll work on the the new color coach. You got the end colors from last year? Hi Chandra. Okay, we'll we'll talk about that sometime about the color coaches just posting on Facebook because otherwise the video is going to be forever. So I'm going to just move on. So in the in your envelope and i am so nervous this month i hope i got everything in there i don't know why but i'm a little paranoid so we'll see this is my swap i hope you like it i'm really i'm like in love with this um this folder and set here so that's what i did my swap and then tomorrow on my facebook live and my be creative with kathy group 
I'm going to do a video on how I made my swap. If you're interested, you can pop on over there. Okay. And then the first card you see in your kits. I can't get into my kit. Ouch, I banged my knee on the, the cupboard there. Okay, so in your kit, let's pull out everything. So this, everything down to the envelope, except this needs to go in here. All of this is separate. These three, oops, this goes over there. These things here are with the envelope are in here. Okay, so you know, I'm going to tell you what I did. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I took a piece of, um, half a piece of cardstock. So it's four and a fourth by 11. And I have a video on, um, my YouTube channel regarding this too. So if you want to see it done, you should go watch the pink golf card, I think is what it's called on YouTube. And if you want me to, I'll share the link later. But the first thing I did was score it at four and a half. And then on the long side, I cut it from one inch up to that score line this way. See those there? Well, you can see on your packet, right? And then I scored it here is one inch, here is one inch on both sides. And then I turned it this way and I put this score line at the um, inch mark and I scored it in the inside here at an inch. So I think, I hope you guys, uh, your paper's all scored right. It should be. And then if you just take it here, <coughs> oh my gosh, a frog in my throat. Take it here and pinch it here. Oh my. And fold this part first. And then kind of push these in. So it ends up folding like that. Wait, mine's, mine's not cooperating. I'm gonna give him down here a little bit of a... There, there he goes. Like that. Right, so then he stands up on when you and we'll fold them and mess with them some more okay so let's put the designer series paper in and so you know the designer series paper was one sheet of six by six inch um paper i don't know i cut it all down somehow <clears throat> like this right this little scrap here you need to fussy cut that purse out and I'll show you why. Although if you don't want to do the person you wanted to do um, a butterfly or something else at the bottom, that would work too. But this strip here, there's the two the same size. The skinny ones go right here. Oh, I think that's, no, I like it better that way. This way and the other one. Goes on the other side over here like that and then there's the two big ones this one is what we're going to use to cover the envelope this is going to go in the middle here and this one we want to go here under the fold that one inch scored piece up there and I'm trying yeah I think I do like it that way and then lay that piece there like that. Ta -da! It's pretty so far, right? I'm going to hurry and fussy cut. Sorry, I should have done this before, but I'm going to hurry and fussy cut my little purse out. And I'm not leaving like next to nothing on the border. I really don't like to fussy cut when people are watching because, uh, well, I try to hurry and to me fussy cutting is not a hurry. It's not a slow process, but when you're trying to hurry is when you make all the mistakes. I guess I shouldn't say you, I should say I make all the mistakes. Maybe you guys don't, 
buckle under pressure like I do. Okay. But looky there. Got my little purse cut out. Okay, so now on the back, this piece here, and I think on my sample card, did I ever show you the sample card? There he is, all done. Duh. But on the back here, this is just this piece. You could stamp happy birthday or something. I left mine blank. This one goes back here. You have to be careful though, because look, it's not a square. You have to make sure that you turn this this way. It fits on there with the border. Okay, time for stamping. So here's our um, blingy burst circle, our simple circle, and I'm going to use the stamp set Peaceful Moments, but hopefully you have a stamp set that um, fits on here. And I'm gonna use Happy Birthday. Oh, and I know what I forgot, but that's all right, we can live without it. I forgot my chamois is still in the sink. So here's my little happy birthday, and I'm using lovely lipstick ink, but I think that Memento ink would work just as well. And toward the top, I did that, well, yeah, I'm gonna stamp him toward the top of my circle. Ta-da! And then with glue dots, because you know we're gonna put it down to glimmer paper, and I think the only way to get something to stick to glimmer paper is with glue dots. So a few glue dots on my circle and put that here. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put a dimensional on the back of my little handbag or my little purse, whatever this is called, that we fussy cut. And put that there. Isn't that cute? Now, if you didn't want to fussy cut this, hey, Christy, you could also put on a, um, a butterfly or a flower or something else or whatever, but it just kind of worked with the designer series paper to fussy cut that out. So then dimensionals on the back of this. And then I'm going to put this right here. And that little bling, I think, just adds, makes it a really girly card. Take our ribbon and tie it around here. You'll see, my fingers are not, I think it is so cold. It's so warm outside. Take the temperature setting away from my husband or something. Make it more cappy. It's funny because at night it's so hot and in the day it's so cold, so I don't get it. Could be could be my um, temperature thing that's messed up and not the houses, huh? Okay, let me just take some scissors and trim that there. A little bit off this side. Dang it, and I just lost my feed that shows, I never mind, I'll explain that sometime. I have a, a camera set up so I could see what I'm doing, and it just blinked off and it's not working anymore. Okay, so th this right here could be your card. If you don't have a sentiment that fits on here, you could leave your card just like that, and I think it would be fine. But I'm gonna go ahead and put on here, life is better with a friend like you, and ink that up in the um, lipstick again and just stamp that down. Ta da! Nope, you know, I think it's crooked. I'm gonna do it again. We like that double sided paper, don't we? Let me stick my head in the camera and see if I can't get it straight this time. Nope, it's still crooked, huh? Looks good, we're gonna go with that one. Oh, and then I ran out of tape. Okay, when all else fails, just keep going, just keep swimming, as Dory says, just keep swimming. So did you guys happen to see my Facebook Friday? 
I had a, I was sideways. I said it was the month of April. I called a butterfly a ladybug. It was like, oh, oh my goodness. <clears throat> it was awful. So I guess, I don't know, just proved that I'm, I'm, I'm human. <laughs> Good old Kathy just does the best she can, right? Okay, and then this just has an itty bitty border. And I always, there we go, like that. So there's your card. And then this strip of paper here, this one fits and it'll cover this part of the envelope to match the envelope. So we're gonna take some tape. And now I'm gonna put it on all four sides because when it goes through the uh, mail like that, the mail is not gentle with our cards. So what the heck is on my envelope? Okay, it's off. And put that like this. We might as well, that's the last strip that's left from the designer series paper, paper the six by six. And there's just enough there to cover the envelope. Well, and so you know, this designer series paper goes with the best dressed um, bundle. Yeah, and the best dressed stamp set and dies will be, I believe, in the new catalog, but not as a bundle. And the designer series paper, of course, won't be. But there you go. So there's your card for card number one. It's cute, huh? I thought it was really cute. Rhonda Wade, I saw a video that Rhonda Wade did and I thought it was really nice and I wanted to share it with you. So there you go. That must be an extra. Okay, oh, and I did, I put in two in case you had a, a problem because they're small and skinny. I did give you two of those. I remember that now. Okay, let's go on to card number two. And I was gonna clean my stamps because, but I left my chamois in the, kit, in the sink getting wet again. So I guess we won't clean stamps, we'll just move on. The next card has a gazillion pieces to it. Oh, let me show you the card. It looks like this. And when it open up, it pops up like that. This is another one I thought was really pretty. I did a couple of them, even a video with the dinosaur. You can see that on my YouTube channel if you want to. But let's go ahead and get started. So we have our black base that is, of course, 11 and by four and a fourth scored at five and a half, just a simple card base. This piece here, I believe, is one and three fourths by eight and a half. Nope, by 11, because it's exact same size as this. Well, I can't even get it to work, right? But then you'll see score lines here. We gotta fold these. I'm gonna just make sure they line up with the edges. Same thing over here. Let's see, we're gonna make it into a W. Looks like that. Okay, and this one's not cooperating as well. Let me get that crisp better. Doesn't matter, there we go, okay? So then you have all this designer series paper here. So these two pieces are going to be the inside, right? This one is the front layered along with this one. So we'll go ahead and layer this one up. Tie the ribbon around there. And this is the glitter ribbon. I think the glitter ribbon is still in the big catalog. And this paper's not in the catalog, but the stamp set and the dies that we're using, it, well, that's not, well, no, that's not true. The stamp set that I'm using is not carrying forward. The dies I used did, but the elements that we're using did not carry forward. It's not in the new catalog. If you want a, a list of all that stuff too, just let me know. So there's our, um, and my ribbon scissors. I'm gonna trim this off. What was I saying? I got busy making the card and I forgot what I was saying. Oh, that if you want a list, you can also go, there's this program called These Are My Stamps. And I started putting all my projects on there because it keeps a list of the supplies that you use. And if you want that link, I could show you that or give you that link too. 
Okay, let's see this. I'm trying to find, here it is, this one here. This piece, we're gonna go ahead and stamp. Now I'm using, this is the perennial birthday, and I love it because it has a gazillion birthdays, but this one is on the retired list. So if you're interested in this one, you gotta get it now. Let's see, this one says, wishing you, yeah, the best on your special day. We'll get out, I think this block's too big or too small. Get that up, get some black ink. I'm gonna stamp him toward the bottom. the bottom hopefully he's straight nope he's really crooked I'm gonna just live with it though because then I'm gonna take this let me put the lid on here so I can get my fingers in the ink on the top I forgot that that stamp set when I mounted the stickers he's really crooked and I should have paid attention to that but yeah what's done is done then lay this along the top like this And then I'm going to trim off, where's my paper snips, here's my paper snips, trim off that little excess right there. Really, now that I think about it, we usually do the difficult card first. We should have done this card first. Oh well, because the first card was easy peasy, right? Okay, so now then put dimensionals, and I'm going to use itty bitty dimensionals on the back of him. And I'm going to put him just in the corners so he straddles that ribbon. Okay, and then put him, I wanted a little bit more this way, so I'm going to put him there and then I'm going to move my ribbon around where I want it. And hopefully, yeah I didn't, it's not on my ribbon so I should be able to move my ribbon. I think because my ribbon is glitter, it doesn't move as easy and all the little glitters pop off. Okay, so there's the front of our card. Bring in the card base and go ahead and put the front on the front of our card. And I'm gonna use lots of tape because of the ribbon. I don't want it to pop off. Like this. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna just go ahead and take this paper and put it on the inside. So one piece will go here. Oop. And the other piece will go on the other side. All right. Okay. Over here. So now, dang, the card is beautiful as it is. But then we're going to take this piece here, and I'm going to bring in my liquid glue, or you could use tear and tape. Well, you know, in fact, I think I'm going to try the tear and tape and see... So let me think how it goes. This way, okay, so I want the tear and tape on the back of this one. Hopefully I'm right. If not, I just have to fold it the other way and it won't really matter. But a strip of tear and tape, I'm gonna varnish that really good so I can get those covers off. Okay, then this piece, I'm going to lay down on my card right here, flush to the end, because remember this is eight and a half, so, or I mean, sorry, 11. So we want it to be flush here and set it down here. And then I'm going to just rub that piece down so that tear and tape sticks on there. Then on this piece, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put two strips of tear and tape. Like I said, you could also just put liquid glue right here. It doesn't matter. We just want it to hold really strong. 
and put this piece down. Yikes, it's crooked. My tear and tape went crooked. Really, probably Kathy did. I can't blame my tear and tape for something I did. And put, get those covers off. And then holding that down like this, I'm going to just close the card. This way we know for sure that our card will close because that's the most important thing. And then if we open, say for instance, it doesn't open flat, it doesn't really matter because, well, it could stand up. It's just, it's pretty pretty, okay? So now let's get all these little pieces. There should be four of these. Haha, -ha, and there are. So I'm gonna start with the easiest one and I gotta open up my card so I can see what I did here. On this one here, we wanna stamp him, so I'm gonna set him aside and do this one first. This little piece, now in here, I suggest you don't use any dimensionals just because the card is thick enough as it is. But we could, I guess, if you wanted to not worry about it being thick and watch it stand up, I don't know. But I'm gonna use, make everything flat. This little flower goes on the poppy piece that I cut. And then we're going to put it on here. And now, since this piece here is going to go on here, I'm, no, I'm not. I was going to use my Tombow, my liquid glue, but I think I'm going to just run tape along here and tape him. Okay, so there's one. Now another one, you need another one of these little strips of paper here. And I'm gonna just put a little glue along here. And put him Ha! I can't get him straight. There he's straight. Now along like that. And then again tape the back of him and put him on one of these. It's not bad. Okay. So then these two pieces that are left over, I stamped on both of these. Now you know if you don't have as many stamps or your stamp set doesn't have as many different greetings as mine does, you could leave them blank. But since I have them, I'm going to use them. And again, this is the perennial birthday stamp. And I like, I love this stamp. I'm going to miss it when it's gone. Although it probably won't go too far. I'll just hang on to it. And I'm going to try to stamp this straight this time. I'm going to look at the red rubber instead of my sticker because my sticker is really crooked. Yay, it worked. And then this little piece here. Now these little pieces, these little cardboard pieces that are in here, this is part of the elements, the poppy elements. And I don't know the exact name, but they're really nice. I think they're really, they're pretty and they make nice cards. And since I can't send you stamped images and I didn't know who had the stamp set, it was easier to make a fast card using those little elements. Okay, there we go. So now we got one more to go. And then the last saying, here's to celebrating you, looks like this one. And I'm going to stamp this one. Whoop, he's got glitter on there from the ribbon that it's gotten. Okay, up here at the top. And then take the last element, here it is, and make sure I don't get the edges. He kind of hangs off the, a little bit on the side, so I'm going to put glue in the center. put him down there. Oop, let him dry a little bit. And then put the back tape back here and put that on to here. If you guys are leaving comments right now, I'm so sorry I can't see him. I'm having a little bit of 
um, computer difficulties, I guess you'd call it, so I can just stamp away, but I can't see what you're saying. Okay, so here now to put these down, I'm gonna use the liquid glue because I think I can get the tape or the adhesive better where I want it, and I really don't want the pieces to pop off. So in the center here, like this, I'm gonna just put some glue, and I like this one as the first one. So I'm gonna make sure it's centered this way. Oop, I got it crooked and they moved it around. And centered this way. So it's straight, hopefully, up here at the top. There. I think that looks a little better. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the next one. Get it centered in between these two score lines and make sure that it's straight up here. And by using the liquid glue, you can kind of move it around and put it where you want it, those last minute, da -da, whatever they are. Okay, so this piece, this is where you would write your greeting. And so I'm gonna put him over here on the very end. Oh, I hope I didn't get my glue too thick. Nope, I did fine. Center him top and bottom, left and right. Put it there. So really, I think this is a really fancy, fancy card, but it's not very hard to make. You could even use just little pieces of designer series paper to make the card pretty on each panel. You could stamp and make your own designer series paper for each panel. You could use little animal faces. That's what I should do with my um, Bonanza buddies. I have lots of that paper. I should do the little different animals with the greeting there. Huh, maybe that'll be my next card. Okay, so this is what your card should look like. I had all the pieces in my packet, which makes me very happy because that probably means you did too. I'm gonna go ahead and post this video on um, my YouTube channel, so if you need to come back and watch it, you can watch it there or it'll always be here on our Facebook group. Okay, so the, just a reminder real quick that your catalog, oh, here's the other cards. Well, they come flying. Looks like this, so be sure and watch the mail and um, hang on to your catalog. But we won't be able to order all this until June, so it's gonna be the old catalog, which looks like, it's blue. Where's my blue catalog? Here he is. Poor old things, all worn and torn. So you can order out of this catalog and the mini catalog, this one. Hopefully you guys have seen, good Lord, the retired list. Not that, that's not the retired list. That's not the retired list. Ah, ah. this is the retired list. It goes on and on for pages. The entire list is just crazy how much is on the retired list. But you can see that on my online store, the last chance, I think it's called the last chance list on my store. And um, this is good, well, it's while supplies last, so hopefully it's still there. And um, it's through May 3rd, June 3rd. This catalog goes into effect June 3rd. These guys retire June 2nd, okay? As always, if you have any questions, if you need anything, you let me know. Here's the host code right here. I put it out for you guys so you can see the host code. And um, Sandra. I believe Sandra is the hostess this month. I'm sure Sandra's the hostess this month. Now I'm starting to doubt myself. Darn it, I should have looked that up before we started the video too. But you guys know how organized I am, as in not. All right, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And, um, oh, I know, so in June, I'm guessing, guessing is a good word, it might be July or August, if we meet in person, we're gonna meet at my mom's, at the Bonaventure, um, just so my mom can go, because if she gets tired, she can just wheel herself back to the room, and they have a great big like kitchen area that has tons of tables that we can stamp there, and then hopefully, maybe some of the other people at the Bonaventure will come and join us, and we can build our club bigger, so when it's your turn to be the host, you'll get buco bucks, instead of just a few. All right, so I'm gonna sign off. If you guys, like I said, if you have any questions, if you need anything, you just let me know. Talk to you later, bye-bye.